All right, welcome back to another episode. We are working on this game of creating a village simulator in Unity uh, with the C Sharp. This is uh, again a tutorial, and in our last episode, we had, or I did, um, I was working on the AI system more, and we I was trying to get it to where it would have different goals and would set priorities to the goals, and I was coming, of course, to uh, different bugs. So I did clean up things a little bit or try to fix some things. Uh, one thing I did in the world states right here, I had some uh, things wrong when it would take away, take out world states. So now what I'm doing is if the world state is ever less than zero, it removes the world state. We don't need it anymore. So, so as, as of now, world states have to be positive. Um, if they're not, then it's taken out. I also added in our AI planner. Let's go to that real quick. In our AI planner, I created a new uh, method here, set available actions. So now actions have a function called is valid. And so if it's valid, then we'll add this to available actions when it first starts to create the plan. And I did this so that, let's say, uh, one of the actions is to build a building. Well, if there's no blueprint, that would be impossible for... Um, the action to ever take place because blueprints can only be added by the player. Same with gathering resources. And what I mean by gathering resources, I mean like chopping out a tree. If you go and chop down a tree, the only way that uh, AI unit is going to chop down a tree is if the player uh, clicked on a tree or a bush. So if the player has not clicked on anything, then it's not going to um, bother trying to find a tree to chop down or even even try to make a plan that would even use it at all because that would not be a valid choice so I added that to the actions to kind of hopefully you know I'm, I'm thinking that this algorithm might not be the best if I'm thinking like to have like a thousand AI uh, in the game and they're all using this I could see that this could slow things down so I'm I'm already trying to figure out ways to kind of slow down or make it a little bit quicker to, to figure out plans. Um, so then with the goal system, with the AI agent, a uh, few things I did up here. Um, I forget if in that last episode I was doing this like go world state. Like don't don't set this as a goal if we don't even have this in our world state right now. So we, we have a have this kind of check if uh if there's no gatherable objects that that are in our world state then this will never this will not be our goal and this is how i am right now trying to determine different goals i'm first based on priority um yeah which really Um, yeah, based on, yeah, 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 do like that. So that's all good. Um, another thing I did was, and I'm not liking how to do this. I might change it later. But if you look at, after we create a plan, we're checking to see if we have a blueprint. And let me just, I got a lot of debugs here. So I do kind of want to change this up a little bit. Um. Let's just say, let's call this a string my plan, plan, change that, and change this to, whoops, whoops, actually let's, let's do like this, control C, this will be taken out, this is definitely testing plan is equal to my plan. Um, eventually, I'll just put this like in a UI or something, so I don't, you know, 
uh, clog up the debug. Then this will be my plan is plus this. It's plus equal to the plan element and this thing here. Get rid of that. Okay, then we'll debug this. Debug that log log my plan. All right, and then this right here, find a blueprint action to set the resource we need. So we kind of need it resource. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Resource. And we kind of need this. And I got to rethink about how to do this because let's say our plan has a, a build action. Well, in order to execute that plan, it needs to figure out what blueprint and what, um, what resource it needs to get in order to fulfill that plan. Well, it doesn't set the target until it actually, actually down here when it starts to, when it's the next action to perform. So uh, that's why I put this up here so that it could set that resource. Then I was having a problem with it. Um, part of the action of taking the resource to the storage, um, or actually taking out, like taking out the resource somewhere see I'm setting this I found something I'm, I'm resetting this target resource here uh, this may not be needed I'm not sure might not be needed because really the reason why you're taking it from it this probably isn't needed uh, should I take it away I did already fix it so what I did was in our take resource to a blueprint, I changed the way that I found the target. Before, the way it was finding the target was it was looking for a blueprint that had the target uh, resource from the AI agent. Now what it does is, hey, what is this, what is this AI agent carrying? So I create a new uh, function on the resource uh, on the resource itself, so the resource script, now has one that can get a blueprint based on the resource name. So, which just returns itself. So if it, if it finds, if this is the resource name, which is what we're getting from the what it's carrying, if this blueprint that's looped through all the blueprints and it's finding the blueprint that has that needs this resource okay so that's that that's how that's how it does it um so let me play it kind of show it i guess so here i click click a couple trees now notice it doesn't pick this up because it, it prioritizes picking up or chopping things down before taking anything to the storage house. All right, and then once when it's done, then it starts to take things to the storage house. Let's just test this out. I'm gonna click here. Let's go and skip this. I think it's going for the wood first. Puts that, puts that there. Let's see if it goes to the bush. Okay, it's checking. This is the world states now. So. It, it's always checking and changing its goal based upon the world state. After it does a, after it finishes a action, it's checking its goals. Now let me add this building. So he's dropping off the berry. He should pick up a wood. So now he's taking a wood. He's taking it to here. So it prioritizes building things before gathering, um, and all that. All right, so. Yeah, this is what the AI system's looking like. Um, I'm liking it, but it's kind of it's kind of hard. The, the way I'm debugging it isn't 
probably the best way for debugging. Um, I'm just putting a bunch of like statements, debug statements. I mean, you can see I'm at, it just keeps adding and adding if I clear it. You know, here it's saying it's no, no goals, but we don't wanna, when I click, now we'll probably have a bug Like let's say I click this. Okay, we're going to, we're going to test this out, and we're going. To, so I clicked it. It thinks okay. Gather yeah, object is one. Okay, so it's going to it. I'm going to click it and take it away. Let's see what happens. Okay, didn't matter. He still did it. So he we're, we can't interrupt his plans at the moment. Um, so there has to be a way that when we ever go to the next action, you know, way to um, check the game state again to make sure that we can still do that particular action. All right. So what I want to do now is I don't like, whoops, Bluetooth. Okay. I hope, all right. Uh, let me just see real quick. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. Um, my daughter was trying to connect the controller. All right, let's see, where were we at? Okay, so if I go to my AI agent, one thing I don't like is um, AI agent. I do just want, this looks very long, like this uh, function here, but you have to understand that. I also have like a lot of lines of debug, like this, I don't even need. Right, I'm gonna delete it. So some of these are like for debugging. Like this, this is just debugging. All this right here. Um, this is, you know, more debugs. So it's not as long as it looks. Just kind of clean this up a little bit. And probably what I could do is like take this and just have other functions in here. But what I was going to say is, look here, this is how I'm adding goals. All right, I'm creating them and I'm adding them. I'm typing in this stuff. So what I was thinking of doing is instead of, uh, instead of having this kind of, let's see, I have a list of goals. Instead of having like a list of goals, what if we make the goals a component that you add? I think this AI system is supposed to be more modular. So the best way to probably do this is that we create specific goals and add those goals to um, the agent. So we're going to put the mono behavior back on this and we're going to leave all of this we're going to probably get rid of this we're going to have a public virtual is valid uh, this should be a bool and by default it will just return true so I'm thinking about changing this up a little bit um, to where it's going to check whether it's valid instead of having this like this right here. Okay, we have goal strings is valid. We'll probably get rid of this. Let just uh, let me just do that. Whoops, and then do that. Okay, we're gonna get some errors. That's okay. So this is a public, what else might we need here? Well, for now, we're just, we'll just leave it like this. So let's go back to our, um, AI agent. And so where we have this list of AI goals, when we start, just look how we, populate the component with actions. 
We're going to populate our goals. Populate all goals. And so we're going to get the goals. For each AI goal, sorry, for each AI goal. AI, no, no, yeah, goals. And we'll change this to AI goals. Changes to AI. AI goal. Uh, let's see. Oh, here. Let's add this to the AI. All goals. So this was populated. Now, let's go back to that goal, AI goals. And we're going to do kind of the same thing here so that we can do this in the inspector list. A list of strings, and we'll call this goal name equals new new list, and then public list of ints equals goal ints. Or how about goal value? All right. And then we're going to have a public. This doesn't need to be virtual public. Void set goals. So this will just set it up. And it'll say for. For I, whoops, not for each. Why does it like this? Oh, because, oh, okay, uh, goal name. Uh, let's see. Goal name, goal name. All right, uh, what should I rename? How should I rename that? Let's just, just for now, string, goal string, goal name. Uh, for I is from zero to goal string dot count. Um, if goals dot does not contain uh, that contains key. So we're just going to check first to make sure that, I mean, it's going to be empty. This is, it, it shouldn't, but just in case, uh, contains key of goal string I. If it does not contain it, we're going to say goals, goals dot add goal string I, whoops comma goal value i okay so let's go back to our ai agent so then we're going to run this all uh, ai goal dot set goals okay so instead of having all of this, um, let's see how many to okay, yeah. So we, we're no longer going to have this. Uh, let me just comment it all out. I still want to just keep it so I remember what I need to type in for each of those goals. All right. 
Uh, let's go down here. So now we we don't have this is valid. We need to do this. Um. Okay. Let's go to our AI goals. Is valid. Why doesn't that work? AI agent dot, I, it probably needs to be capital, is valid. All right. So this we are not going to use anymore. We'll just kind of comment it out for now. And so instead, when it gets the goal, it's going to check right here whether this goal is valid or not. And then in each individual goal that we make, we're going to set what are the conditions for that to be a valid goal. I hope that makes sense. Well, let's, uh, let's test it out. So in our scripts, we're going to create a new new folder. We're going to call it goals. And all right, let's create a new goal. And we're going to call it gather goal. All right. Let me open it up. It's going to be my own behavior. Actually, it's going to be a AI goal. That's all fine. I don't think we really need that. Let's just get rid of it. Public override is valid. So here, instead of return the base, we're going to say um, if world state dot states my uh, dot world states that contains key of gather object. So all it needs to do is have that, then we'll return true. This makes things just more, I mean, this makes it a lot better. Making a module, making it to where I can type in my own code for every single different goal as the situation arises, instead of yeah, I th yeah, I think this is this will be a lot better. Return false. Okay, so that will not be a goal. Uh, now, if we go to our AI agent, we're gonna add that gather goal. So this is going to have a lot of components on it. Um, you know, it would be kind of kind of neat just for organizational purposes it's like have an empty game object that has all the actions on it and have another game empty game object that has all the goals on it just so that's a little bit easier to um i'm sure i can do that but we'll, we'll look at that later let's add the gather goal All right, so what's the goal string? The goal, what's the prerequisite? All right, let's go back to what I had typed before. Um, We need to have resource on the ground. That's our goal to have the res have a resource on the ground. All right, so this will be resource on ground, and the value is one. The priority is going to be five. Is that what I gave it? A priority is one. And then we're going to say gather resource from, I would say from object. Okay. 
So let's see if this works. Save everything first. Click the play. All right, we are getting a null reference. So let's see. Okay, so if maybe I, maybe I didn't need that. If current goal is equal to null, then we want to return. Do not make a don't make a plan. If there is no goal, don't make a plan. Save it. Okay, it's kind of cool. We don't got a lot of debugs. It's doing nothing. It's saying, hey, we don't got no plan. Let's click. Okay, let's click here. Click here. Let's just test this out a little bit. See what happens. All right, so it stops. Okay, let's stop that. Let's make another goal. The next goal is to create a script called storehouse goal. Uh, uh, do we want to say storehouse goal? Yeah, let's just do that. And we'll wait for that. Open this up. We'll do the same thing. Um, I think this goal system will be much better. So override the is valid. Right now we can say true, but we really should do this. Uh, list of Storehouse, store, storage building, uh, store buildings is equal to map manager dot instance dot all no get game objects with get eight game objects. Whoops, type of store building. I do like that, that function. <laughs> what am I forgetting here? Oh, uh, this needs to be game objects. I wonder... Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. I'll leave it like that. But I was wondering if, let's say, since I'm sending this, it would return whatever type I send it. Don't know how to do that. Um, so if, anyways, we'll just leave it like that. So if store buildings really all, all I need to do is just count if this is more than zero then we can say return true so if there's if there's no store houses which possibly there could be no store houses if there were none uh, or if if we do find one then then we can do this action You know, it would not, the AI is not going to try to make a pa a plan. Like if it has no storehouse and wants to take them, something to a storehouse, it would never create a plan where it's going to build one to do that. So that's why I can do this kind of, kind of val validation thing. 
Now, later down the road, if we were like, hey, we want some AIs to be really smart, you know, they can do all that. That'd be kind of maybe neat. I don't know. You, you have a villager that you've trained up and kind of have you kind of build things on its own. I don't know. Uh, okay, so that's that. That's the storehouse. So now let's go back to here. And let's go to our test agent. Let's add a component called storehouse goal. I need to make sure I type in the word goal at, at the end of all of these. All right. So I think this has to be has. Um, Storage resource. So that's what we want. Storage resource. This needs to be one. The priority is going to be five. So it's going to prioritize that over the other one. Um, goal name is take resource to store house. All right, let's see if this works. All right, click here, click here, click here. Okay, chopping things down first because that's the priority before taking something to the storehouse. Now we're going to take things to the storehouse. All right, um, before uh, I had this as a requirement that the resource needs to be on the ground, it would never have this as a priority. So we should probably add that too as the goal. If that is true... Then we're going to check if uh, world state dot states dot contains resource contains key resource on ground. Then we would return true. Okay. So it would not make this as a goal. If, if there's no resource on the ground. All right. It's nice it's not like spamming a bunch of debugs now. All right, cool. Let's stop it. Let's add the next goal. This goal is going to be build building goal. And let's add this as the AI goal. Oh, public override. Uh, whoops, let's just type in override is valid. So here, we're gonna kind of do the same thing as this. And, but instead of a building, we're going to say blueprint. And we're going to get all the game objects that are blueprints. And then change that to blueprint. So 
We're looping through all the blueprints for all our game objects, get our blueprints. If it contains the this, no, it doesn't need to, to do that. Uh, I think we can just do this. If there's a blueprint, then we can set that as a goal. Okay. So let's go here. Um, add component. Build building goal. All right, so this is going to be a number one priority. Building a building goal. I think, I don't know if I did that. Uh, let's go to the AI agent. Let me just double check what I need. All right, build building is one. That's what it's looking for. So it's looking for action that has the build building. All right. Yeah, I don't know if I said this, but in my planner with my action, or when it performs the actions, I forget if I mentioned this, it no longer, <clears throat> before it was automatically setting the world state based upon the um, effects. But I decided to take that away and make the, having to manually type in all the, all, <clears throat> all the world state changes after it performs the action. Uh, instead of just automatically taking whatever these effects are. I'm more focusing, these effects are more focusing on how to make the plan, and not necessarily how the world state will, will change. All right, let me click here. Click here. Stop that. He's going to go there. Let me add this. Taking it from there. All right. So we're back to where we were. He is building. We got no errors right now. I think the system is better um, as far as being able to create these plans. And it could be like later down the road, maybe thinking about how it makes these plans, maybe this isn't the best way to do it, but for now it seems to be better than what it was doing before. Um, I'm almost to the point where I want to start taking away some of those scripts. I'm going to leave them in there for now. Uh, probably in our next episode, a strange ending an episode with no bugs. <laughs> because I think every episode I just have a bunch of bugs that I have to try to fix. And there are bugs already. Um, yeah, you know, it's just I'm not really testing for bugs. I'm just trying to get things to work. And then, you know, bugs are just happening as I'm programming. So it's more like a programming bug than necessarily like well, I don't know how to say it like I'm not I'm just not testing for bugs. Um a good person to do that is my daughter. Like if I give this to to her right now in the state that it's in, she'll break it. She'll break it for sure. But anyways, uh I think in the next set episode we'll try to tackle the need system because I think we have everything so maybe having the needs and eventually we need to uh, I mean we already have the system but now using the system with with the uh, new AI and we still need to have it where it's more than one agent um, well let's test it out see what happens so we got two. So now, see, I just want to end the episode with a bug. So that's what I want to do. So, because I know this, this is going to give a bug. It has to. Right, let's play it. See what happens. Let me click here. Oh, they're both going to it. And they're probably both working. And they're both picking up. And we can't pick things up. 
No, you're trying to pick something up that's no longer there because your buddy picked it up already. Yeah. Okay. So we definitely need to put in some uh, features. Like, he should not be going to that tree uh, if it's been... We, we need to mark... Yeah, this is... It'll get a little complicated. Well, we'll work on that another time. Again, thanks for watching. You can like it. You can subscribe it. However you feel. I'm good either way. I just uh, am enjoying making these. And hopefully you are enjoying watching them. I'll see you next time. Bye.